So you need help solving for why. This is the video for you. We're gonna go step by step, super slow, super detailed. Every single situation you're probably gonna see. And without further ado, bro, let's go. So here we go. As you can see for this problem, you have why, whoa, 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 why are we trying to do this without getting our minds right? So let's knock out our student creed. Let's forget everything that happened. Let's get all the distractions away and let's start brand new, all right? On three, let's go. One, two, three. Today is a new day. I can read well. I can understand what I read. I can remember it and apply it correctly. I've got eyes to see, ears to hear, and a mind to understand. It might not be easy, but it's worth it. Ah! Dang, I always just feel ready to go after that. Hope you do too. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got y. First example says uh, y plus 9 equals negative 6 parentheses x minus 3 close parentheses. Second example says the exact same thing, y plus 9. But instead of an equal sign, I have this inequality sign. Then I've got minus 6 parentheses x minus 3 close parentheses. Ugh, write it down. Hurry up. All right, now as you do these problems, man, I need you to do them with me. I just released a video just before this. It's talking about how to figure out who the real ones are in your life. Now I'm about to go through it right here. Your friends, you know, your friends will love you at all times, but your brothers, your brothers are there for the day of adversity, right? Your brothers are born for adversity, which means you find out who the real ones are when you go through some tough stuff. We're about to go through some tough stuff, and don't let me go through this alone. I want you to go through this with me. That way I can know, yes, you're a real one. Otherwise, you just be fake and let it play in the background and do whatever you got to do. You got to focus up if you want to get this stuff done, all right? I'm here for you. I'm here with you. I'm going to hold your hand through this stuff, and we're going to knock it out and come out of here super good and knowing exactly what to do 100% of the time. Also, I don't want you knowing things 0% and, or 50%. You got to know them 100%. You got to be crystal clear about why you're doing everything that you're doing. If you're not crystal clear about it, you better ask and speak up and give me some questions, all right? I'm with you. I'm ready to go. You ready? Let's go. So I got this stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Now, the other equations that we've solved, they only had X's in them. Or they had a T or they had a thing. They had like a, like a different letter. Here we have a Y and we have an X. We have a Y and an X. Two different letters. You can't just change him to an X also or change him to a Y also. And These are two different letters, which means that they do two different things. So here's what we have to do. Before, when we were solving the equations with those six steps to success, how to do those things, how to solve equations, all right, that is me telling you, hey, let's go play some ball. I'll pick you up. You ready? All right, cool. I pick you up. We go out, and we're throwing the football out there in the grass, right? So we're out there. We played. We, I taught you all the rules about football. Yeah, we had fun. Now I'm saying, hey, hey, let's go play some ball again. Oh, cool. So you think you're going to play football again because I said let's go play some ball. So you're bringing your cleats out here. You're bringing your eye black. You got your helmet or whatever. And then when I pick you up, I bring you to the gym. And we're, now we're playing basketball. You can't use your football rules out here in the basketball gym. So those six steps are great. Those apply whenever you only have one letter. It's the same letter throughout the problem, all right? It could be an X everywhere or an X on one side. That's totally fine. But whenever you see an X and a Y in the same problem, the game changed. We got different rules. All right, now before we go any further and actually do some math, I know, I know, I know, I'm so sorry. I know you're trying to get to it. There are five rules you have to write down on how to do this. This video is called How to Solve for Why. So we're going to solve for why. These are the five rules for solving for why. Here we go. The first one, find the equal sign. Find the equal sign. The second rule, look for parentheses. Look for parentheses. The third rule, get your Y's to the left. Y to the left. The fourth rule, X's to the right. X's to the right. And the last rule, the fifth rule, numbers to the right. Numbers to the right. All right, those are the five rules. Let's go. First question. Uh, I see an X and a Y. Whoa, the game just changed. I got to solve for Y here. So let's go. First step is find the equal sign. Perfect. So find the equal sign. Look, there it is. Let me make it longer because it looks weird. There's the equal sign. Okay, now what do I do? You always draw a line down it, just how we used to do. All right, this is how we always solve equations. Draw a line down it. Why? Because that's the right side and this is the left side. I need you to know which, which is which. Okay, so I got the left side, I got the right side. Okay, great. What's the next step? Well, step number two says to look for parentheses. All right, let's look for some parentheses. 
Do you see any parentheses? Yeah, I do see parentheses. They're right here. Okay, you should know how to clear them. You should know how to get rid of parentheses because we've done this before, right? But if not, if you're like, oh, I didn't really do it, well, then here's how you do it. To clear parentheses, you have to multiply. You have to multiply. Who you multiply? The guy on the outside multiplies to everybody on the inside. So I'm going to go him times him and then him times him. So here we go. Let's start off. Negative 6 times x. All right, you can't put that in your decimals calculator. You can't even put that in any calculator. So all you, all you have to know is that negative 6 times x is just negative 6x. Got it. Next step, I got to do negative 6 times negative 3. Negative 6 times negative 3 is positive 18. Good, 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 good. Type it into your calculator. Stop guessing. I would hate for you to make an error on the first freaking step. Type it into your calculator, your Desmos calculator, and you should be fine. Okay, so I cleared the parentheses. Now, hang on, hang on. I, I didn't touch this. Let me make sure I bring it before I lose this side. All right, y comes down. I didn't touch him. Plus comes down, 9 comes down, equal comes down. Okay, here we go. Cool. So step one, I drew my line. Step two, I found parentheses. All right, I cleared the parentheses. Now, what was step three? Step three was bring the y to the left-hand side. Bring the y to the left. All right, here's my left. Here's the y. The y is already on the left. I like it. We're good. Next step was get your x to your right. So x is to the right. Okay, here's the right. Here's the x. Nice. All of my x's are already on the right. Beautiful. Okay, the last step says get your numbers to the right. So make sure all of your numbers on the right-hand side. Well, here's the right-hand side. Okay, it's already got some numbers. Now I want to look on the left. Are there any numbers here that I need to get rid of? Yes, there are. Who? Who's the number? This 9 right here. Okay, so let's get rid of this 9. Circle that 9. Hey, what kind of 9 is that? That's a plus 9. That's a positive 9. So I want to kick him out of this side and kick him to the right side. Now, as I kick him out to this side, who do I put him under? Do I put him under this negative 6x or do I put him under this 18? We're going to put this 9 underneath the 18. Why? Because the 9 and the 18 don't have an x. You see this 6 right here? He has an x. So imagine this, this 9 is a little kid walking through the cafeteria. He's trying to find a place to sit. Uh, can I sit with you, 6? No! Only x's sit here. You don't got an x on you. You keep going. Okay. So the x, a, the 9 keeps going. Can I sit? Yeah, you can sit here. We're the same. We both don't have x's. So I'm going to keep going past that x. Drop him off underneath his 18. Now this plus 9 turns into a... Minus 9. Look at you. Look at you. You're so smart. Now let's see what happened. Y falls down. This guy went away. This equal sign stays. This negative 6x, I didn't touch him. He falls down. This 18, I want it to fall down, but he's got to go through this 9. So it's going to be 18 subtract 9. Put it in your decimals calculator just like that. 18 subtract 9. Enter. What is it? 9. Good. Is that a positive 9 or a minus 9? A plus 9. Good, good, good. Now watch this. You're finished. You're done. It's solved for y. But it doesn't look like an answer. I want it to look like this. y equals 10. That looks like an answer. Or y equals 25. That's an answer. Or even y equals 1 half. Those are answers. I like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is true. This is how it used to be. But when we solve for y, nah, nah, nah. They might not even look like that, okay? So I want you to get comfortable at seeing stuff like this. Here is how you can know if you're finished. Is your y on the left-hand side? Yes. Is he by himself? Yes. That's it. You're done. That's it. Y's alone? Got he. All right, we're going to do number two faster. All right, we already did this guy. It's the same column. I just changed him. All right, here you go. Step one, what is it? Find the equal sign. Let's go. Draw your line. Why do I draw the line? There's a left side. There's a right side. Okay, step two. Look for parentheses. Um, hey, I found parentheses. How do you get rid of parentheses? Multiply. Let's go. Negative 6 times x gives me a negative 6x. Negative 6 times negative 3 gives me a positive 18. Type it in your calculator. Next one. Bring the y down, plus 9. Keep the symbol there. Okay, cool. Now, next step. I'll bring your y's to your left. All right, the y's are already on the left. All right, next step, bring your x's to the right. X's are already on the right. Nice. 
Last step, make sure all of your numbers are on the right hand side. Here's the right hand side, looks really good. Uh oh, there's a guy here, he doesn't belong here. Let's kick him out, take him to the right. Grab him, throw him over. Do I put him underneath the 6X? Yeah, no, you don't, why not? Because the 6 has an X, this 9 does not, they don't sit together. You gotta keep going. There we go, I drop him off underneath here. Don't forget, he's a positive 9. Write him as a minus 9. All right, let's see what we did here. Y falls down, keep the symbol, negative 6x falls down, 18 minus 9 equals a plus 9. Put it in your calculator, don't guess. Put it in your calculator just to make sure. It's okay if you think you know what it's gonna be. Now put it in the calculator to make sure that it came out to be what you thought it was gonna be. And L, are we finished here? It doesn't say Y equals 10 or something. Get used to this, this is totally fine. I got the Y by himself, that's all you want, you're good. All right, let's go. Next set of problems, here we go, numbers three and four, you got y minus three equals parentheses, x minus 10, close parentheses. Number four says y minus three is greater than or equal to parentheses, x minus 10, close parentheses. All right, here we go. What are we gonna do here? I see a y and I see a x. So what do we do? All right, if you see an x and a y on the same problem, you have to solve for y. We got those five steps, all right? First step, what is it? Line down the equal sign, perfect. There's your line. You want to do it to have your left side and your right side. Beautiful. Step two, what is it? Look for parentheses. You see any parentheses here? Yup, me too. All right, so when you see parentheses, how do you get rid of them? You better be saying multiply. Okay, multiply what? Multiply whatever's on the outside of the parentheses to whoever's on the inside of the parentheses. Well, then what the heck is on the outside of the parentheses? The three? Nah, that three's on the other side. The, there's nothing on the outside of the parentheses. So I'm gonna, I'm, you don't even have to multiply anybody. So watch this, here's what I'm gonna do. Y minus three equals X minus 10. I just take them off because there's nothing to multiply, so we're good. You will see something like that and I don't want you getting confused or getting scared. It's easy, just like this. All right, after I did parentheses, what's the next step? Move the Y's to the left. So here's the left-hand side. I want my Y's here. Good, there's no other Y's here. Perfect, I like it. Next step, move the X's to the right. All right, here's the X side. Are, are there any X's I gotta go move? Well, X is already on the right. Nice job, last step. Take all the numbers to the right. Well, here's the right side. I want all my numbers here. Are there any numbers here that I gotta kick out? Yes, this guy, he doesn't belong there. Kick him out. Yes, sir. So I circle him. Do I drop him under the X? Or do I put him underneath this minus 10? Underneath the minus 10. Why? Because they're both neck. No, because he doesn't have an X and neither does that 10. So you pair them up. Don't forget, you gotta do the opposite of whatever he is. So this is a minus three, I write him as a plus three. Let's see what we did. Y falls down. This negative three is gone. This X falls down. Negative 10 plus three, put that in your calculator, what is it? Stop guessing, make sure you know that you know that you know what it is. It would suck to make an error this late in the game. Negative 10 plus three is, there we go, there we go, thank you. Minus seven, hey, you're done, you did all the steps, right? You finished, you're done, that's an answer. It's okay, that's what it's supposed to look like, it's supposed to feel like this. All right, I want you to do number four, you do number four, all right? Pause the video, you do number four, and then I'll work it out after that. Cool, all right, here we go, check it out. Your work better look like my work. Remember, you're not writing this as I write this. You better have written this before I wrote it. Don't trick yourself thinking you did it too. Shoot, this is me doing it. You better have it on your paper first, here we go. Just kidding, there's no parentheses there. Cool. Does your answer look like my answer? Nice, hey, same problem here, only difference is you're using inequalities. Not a big deal, all right? Want some more? All right, let's do some more. All right, here we go, next ones. You got examples five and six. Y plus one equals one third parentheses, X minus 12 close parentheses, same thing over here. Y plus one is less than one third parentheses, X 
minus 12 close parentheses. All right, let's go. What are we going to do here? I see a Y and I see an X in the same problem. What do we do? Solve for Y. They're never going to ask you to solve for X if there's an X and a Y together. All right, it's always solve for Y. Unless they're being crazy and just trying to be tough. But it's always X and Y, solve it for Y. So here we go. First step, line down the middle. Perfect. Not down the middle? Sorry, that's my fault. Find the equal sign, then you draw your line down it. It just so happens to be in the middle on this one. Left side, right side. Cool, I'm with it. Next step, look for parentheses. You see any parentheses anywhere? Yup, me too. Where are they? Right here. Next step, how the heck do you get rid of parentheses? Multiply, thank you, thank you. Someone's got it, I heard you, I heard you. Multiply, what the heck are we gonna multiply? The one third to this stuff. So one third times x, then one third times negative 12. So let's go. One third times x gives us one third x. One third times negative 12. Type it in your calculator. Stop trying to guess. 1 third times negative 12 gives us a negative 4. Nice job, nice job. Now i got to bring this left side down because I didn't even do it over here. No, I didn't touch it. Cool, cool, cool. Don't forget the equal sign. All right, next step after the parentheses are cleared is to do what? Make sure that your y is on the left. Is my y on the left? Yup, looks good. Is my next step, is my x on the right? Yup, looks good to me too. All right, what's after that? Make sure all of your numbers are on the right. All right, are all of my numbers on the right? Well, I got a number C, I got, oh, I got a number here. I got to kick him out, kick him out, kick him out. So I grab him, write him on the other side. Do I stop under this one-third X or under this minus four? Under the one-third X, why? No! Not under the one-third X. He has an X and he does not. So I do not stop under here. I got to keep it going, keep it going. There we go. All right, let's see what happened. Y falls down, that plus one is gone. Equal sign stays, one third X falls down. You are right so far? Negative four minus one. Put that in your calculator, please. And what do you get? Negative four, sweet. Negative five, sorry, I said negative four, but I meant negative five, my fault. All right, are we good? Are we good, are we look good, perfect. All right, now you do number six. Pause the video, you take your time and do number six, and then after you're done actually going as far as you can go, hit play until I get to wherever you get stuck, and then once you go, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, then you pause it again and you finish it up, all right? Let's go, your turn, you do it. All right, ready, here we go. You better have done that. Then you did that, then you did that. Easy peasy. Then, hopefully you did this. If you did that, you're doing great. And then you should have done this. If you did that, oh, you still got it. And then don't forget about this. All right, we should have gotten here, no problem. And then, did you make it all the way to the bottom, all the way by yourself? Hey, 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 hey look at you, look at you, just, 15, 10 minutes ago, you didn't know how to do this. Good job. If you didn't get it, hey, all good. We still got more. Let me box it up real quick. All right, there we go. That's what's up. You ready for some more? We're going to do some more. Let's do some more. Here we go, example seven and eight. Why do you have to do so many problems? I don't know how to do it. Time out. You're going to see something in these. There's a reason why I do these. Because there's every single scenario you're about to see. I got you. That way you get through it now and you have your notes. You have the, the letters I left to, uh, if I'm not here to explain it to you. All right, you have it here. You don't have to worry about, what do I got to do now? I got you. All right, let's go. I have this, 19x plus 10y equals negative 18. 19x plus 10y is greater than negative 18, all right? Here we go. Hey, what do you see? You see an x and a y? What do you got to do then? x and y in the same problem? Solve for y. First step is what? Find the equal sign. Here he is. Draw your line down it. There's your left, there's your right. Next step, look for parentheses. You see any parentheses in there? Nope. Hey, nice. Next step, get your Y to the left. Is your Y on the left-hand side? Yep, you sure it is. Next step, get your X on the right. Is your X on the row? Oh, no. No, 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 my X is not on the right. All right. Oh, here he is. All right, let's grab this guy and kick him out. He doesn't belong on the side. He needs to go over here. 
So I grab him, and watch this, watch this. Do I put him underneath this 18? Why not? Because the 19 has the X, and this negative 18 does not have the X, so I do not put him underneath. They do not go together. So I'm gonna put him in the back, I'm gonna put him behind. And I'm running out of space here, my fault, so I'm gonna put it right underneath it. So I'm gonna put negative 19X. I put a negative 19x here because he was a positive 19 when I circled him, so I put a negative 19x right here. All right, here we go. Let's see what we did. Is that 19 still there? Nope, he's gone. Is this 10, 10y still there? Yup. So I'm going to go plus 10y. Ew! Nobody writes it like this. If it's a plus, you don't even have to write the plus in the front. There we go. He's, is he still positive? Yeah? Okay, we're fine then. Equals this negative 18 falls down. This negative 19x falls down too. Okay, cool. Are we all right so far? Okay, now here's what's up. Watch this move I'm about to do. Ready? I want you to watch it. Check it out. I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to show it to you. Watch this. See if you can figure out what I did. What did I do? Yes. Yeah, I just swapped them. I switched places with these guys. I brought the negative 19x in the front, and I put the negative 18 in the back. Now, whenever you do that, make sure this. Look, is this a line? Am I lying here? Did I lie when I said this? Is the 18 negative? Is 18 negative? Yes. And does 19x have to be negative 2? Is he negative as well? Yes, he is. All right, I didn't lie. It's still the same thing. I just wanted the x in front because I'm used to seeing it like that. Okay, last step to do what? Get, all right, the X is on the right. Last step is get all the numbers on the right. Okay, are all my numbers here on the right-hand side? No, there's a 10 hanging out right here. All right, what do you do when the number and the letter, or when they're side by side like that? They're side by side, you divide. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm gonna divide this 10. Well, who gets divided by the 10? The negative 19 or the negative 18? Who will get divided by that 10? The negative 18 or that negative 19X? The negative eight, the negative 19, both of them, everybody will get divided by that 10. I don't care if there's a hundred numbers over there. If there's a thousand numbers on that side, if you are going to divide, oh, everybody gets hit with that 10. All right, so let's, let's make sure we got that. Dang, I got to divide. They're side by side like that. What do you do when they're side by side? Divide. Okay, who gets divided by that 10? The negative 18? Or the negative 19? Both of everybody! You better give it to everybody. So you do it like this. Over 10, over 10. Noise. All right, let's see what happens. Zoom. 10 went away. Y stays there. Equals, get in your calculator. Get in your decimals calculator. Negative 19, don't put the X in because it's going to be weird. So negative 19 divided by 10. Negative 19 divided by 10. That gives you a decimal, right? Okay, I don't want a decimal. I want a fraction. I want a fraction for this. I don't want a decimal. Give me a fraction. All you got to do, hit that blue button on the side, and it'll turn that decimal into a fraction. You hit that blue button? Nice. What did it give you? Oh, negative 19 again over 10? All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And that's what you write down. Did you type it in correctly? Yes. And you hit the fraction button? Yes. All right, and that's what it gave you? Then you're good. You're great. All right. Now this other guy right here, negative 18 divided by 10, put him in the calculator. Negative 18 over 10, cool. Now turn him to a fraction. What did you get when you did him? Negative 18 over 10? That's a lie. That's a lie. It's not negative 18 over 10. What was it? Good. Negative 9 over 5. All right, the reason why we did this one is because look, Negative 19 over 10. When you put that in the calculator, it gave you negative 1.9. Then you turned it into a fraction, and it gave you back the same thing you just gave it. So I don't want anybody thinking, oh, well, every time I do that, it's just going to give you the same fraction back. Because did, did that happen when you did the second one? You did negative 18 divided by 10, and that gave you back negative 18 over 10? No, it didn't. It reduced it down to negative 9 over 5. As long as you type it in correctly, type in that fraction thing, you got it. You, you'll be fine, all right? Just trust me. I got you. All right, and we finished, right? Why is by itself? Who cares about the fractions? We're golden. I like it. Pause the video. You got number eight. Go. Go. You got it. Don't be scared. Do it. I'll just write it down when you write it. All right, you're tricking yourself. You're tricking yourself. Stop playing yourself and get to work. All right, I'll be here. All right, you ready? Here we go. 
Should have done this. Whoop, got him. Whoop, whoop. Easy peasy, nice. No parentheses, nice. Uh, y on the left, you betcha he is. X on the right, no. Let's move the X to the right. Drop him off behind the 18, because they don't match up. They both don't have X's. All right, that plus 10 Y falls down. Uh, negative 18 falls down. Negative 19 X falls down. Right, you have it look like this? Hey, don't forget, you don't have to have this plus here, because now it looks weird. Ah, oh, there we go. I wish I could do that to minus signs, right? That would make it easier. Anyways, you can't do that to minus signs. All right, here we go. Now we're here. Okay, now what? Did you do this? I hope you did that and swapped them back. Got the X in the front. Just easier to see when it's like that. That's how you see it all. That's probably how your teachers want it. All right, then what? You divide it by 10? All right, who did you divide the 10 by? By the 18? Because it's they're even or something? No! Everybody gets divided by 10. Stop trying to make up your own rules. That's not how it works. Everyone gets divided by 10. If you did that, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so good. For real. All right, let's see what happens. Y. Boom. Uh, put that in the calculator. You gave me negative 1.9. Did you remember how to turn it back to a fraction, though? Yeah? What did you get? Negative 19 over 10? Cool. And then this guy stayed negative 18 over 10, right? Right? No. Good. You know better than that. I'm just trying to trick you. I'm just testing. Just testing you. Negative 9 over 5. And you got him, yeah? Woo! Good job. Good job. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Want some more? Okay, I'll tell you a little more. Just a couple more. A couple more problems. Here we go. What do you got here? X and Y in the same problem? Yuck, man. What are they doing? Trying to make math too... They're doing too much. Who cares? We got it. We know how to do it. Let's go. All right, hopefully, first step is what? Find the equal sign. Good. And then what? Left, right. Cool. Now what? Look for parentheses. Are there any parentheses? No. So good. Next step. Make sure that your Y is on the left. Is my Y on the left? Sure is. Is my X on the right? No, he's not. So I got to work right there. I got to make my X on the right. So here I go. Grabbed him. Threw him. You already know by now. He does not have an X. He has an X. They don't mix. I got to put him in the back. Put him behind him. There. Should look just like that. The negative 15Y falls down equals negative 17 plus 17X. Yes? Mr. Shives, can we just erase this minus sign? I mean, we did it when it was a plus sign. Because if I did that, if you erase that minus sign, you just change them to a plus sign. That's illegal. You can't do that. Now you're lying. There we go. Keep them honest. It's the same thing. Keep that minus sign there. All right, now the next step. Um, let's bring the X in the front. I don't like it when the X is in the back. I like it better when the X is in the front. Let's go. So I'm going to do it like this. Bring the X to the front. See what I did there? It's a little harder to see. But I need you to see it. You have to make sure that you're making true statements all the time. You can't be lying and making things up. Is this 17 negative? Yes? Well, then he should stay negative. Did he stay negative? Yes, he did. Is this 17x negative? No, he's positive. Oh, well, is he still positive over here? Yes, he is. Beautiful job. You just got to make sure you're still keeping it accurate. All right? All right, last step. What? Get all my numbers to the right. Let's go. Let's get all the numbers to the right. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, oh, negative 15 and the y. They're side by side. What do I do when they're side by side? When they're side by side, you divide. Okay, who gets divided by that negative 15? Yeah, perfect. I heard you saying it loud over there. Everybody, yeah, good job. All right, so negative 15, negative 15. Nice. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens here. This 15 went away. That Y stays here. Uh, 17 divided by negative 15 gives you a what? Okay, turn into a fraction, please. Oh, okay, cool, nice. All right, that one stayed. That one stayed like that. I just put the negative on the top now. I don't like it on the bottom. No, don't ever write it on the bottom at the very end. Okay, now I got negative 17 divided by negative 15. Put that in your calculator. Okay, turn to a fraction, please. Okay, are you sure? All right, if you, did you type it in correctly? Negative 17 divided by negative 15? All right, now I'm trusting what you're saying. Good job. So plus 17 over 15. All right, we're done, yeah? Y by itself, numbers in the letter. All right, we got it. I like it. That's good. All right, you got number 10. You got number 10. Go get them. You got number 10. Go get them. Pause the video. Let's go. All right, you finished? You sure? All right, here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's all I'm going to say. All right, you should have done this. Should have done this. 
Same steps, same exact steps. Yeah, still with me? Yeah, so far so good? Then we're gonna rewrite it, put the X in the front. Yeah, beautiful. Nice. Wow. Wow, wee, wee, wow. Nice job. Did you get here at the very end? Hey, good job. Congratulations. You just missed the question. What? What do you mean I just missed it? It looks the same as this one. Negative 17 and then a... Hey, hey, you did it. The algebra was beautiful. Beautiful. But there's a reason why I gave you all these problems. There's a reason why I gave you all these problems. At the very end, at the very end, you see this step right here? You see how you divide it by a negative 15? That means you better flip that sign around. So it should be y is greater than. Now don't go erasing that. Leave this here, put a little line through it, and just write it again correctly on the bottom. That way you're telling your future self that's gonna look back at these notes, say, oh yeah, I did think that. Crazy, all right? All right, now here's a quick trick. Why did we never flip any other questions before this? We didn't flip any other ones before this. Look at all of your even ones. You should have two, four, six, eight, and now 10. Look at all the Y values on two, four, six, eight, 10. Are all your Y values positive or are they negative or are they mixed? Mixed, lie, you didn't even look. Go look at them. They're all positive, right? Whenever the Y starts off positive, you will not flip the sign at the end. Number 10 right now starts off negative. That means that's a huge tell right there. That means at the very end, you will have to flip the sign. All right, you can learn that and use that and you'll be great. All right, couple more, just two more, two more real ones and then I'm gonna have you just set up two other ones. All right, two more real ones, let's go. All right, here we go, the last two ones that we're actually gonna work out and then the next one after this, we're just gonna set up. All right, number 11, 6y plus 19 equals 19x. 6y plus 19 is greater than or equal to 19x. All right, let's go, what do you see here? X and Y, same problem, what are we gonna do? Solve it for Y, beautiful, look at you, look at you, you're ready, you're almost ready. All right, here we go. Line on the equal sign, step one, step two, make sure my Y's are on the left hand side. Is my Y on the left, yep, it sure is. All right, next step, is my X on the, oh! Time out, I jumped, got ahead of myself. Step one, line on the equal sign. Step two, look for parentheses. There's no parentheses here. Step three, look for the Y, is the Y on the left hand side? Yep, he sure is on the left hand side. Step four, make sure the X's are on the right hand side. Are the X's on the right hand side? Yeah, the X's on the right hand side. Next step, I'll make sure my numbers are on the right hand side. Are my numbers on the right hand side? Yes, oh no, I need one more. There's numbers here on the left. I gotta move these guys. All right, let's move these guys. I wanna get these guys off the left hand side and kick them to the right hand side. Here I go. I see a 6Y and I see a 19. Which one do you do first or do both at the same time? No, you're not gonna do both at the same time. You're gonna do the 19 first. You save the six with the Y for the very end, all right? Save that guy for the very end. Let's move this 19 first. Do I put him underneath this 19X? The 19 with the 19X? No, they both don't have Xs, so let's go. Minus 19. All right, bring down the six Y equals 19X falls down. I didn't touch him. This negative 19 stays out there. All right, so far so good, yeah? I still got a six here, I'm almost done. I gotta get rid of him. What do you do when they're side by side? When those numbers are side by side with the letter, what do you do? You divide. When they're side by side, you divide, all right? Who's gonna get divided by the six? The one with the X or the one without the X? Everybody will get divided by the six, everyone. Divided by six, divided by six, Y falls down equals 19 divided by six is what? Put in your calculator, just to make sure. I don't know, I don't know either. Put in your calculator. Cool, you got it? Nice, turn it into a fraction. <laughs> Give you the same thing? Man, we should just copy it down. Don't do that, don't be lazy, make sure. 19x over 6. Do this guy in the back. Negative 19 divided by 6. I know you know. I know you think so. Just make sure, please. Negative 19 divided by 6. Can you calculate the decimal? Give me a fraction, please. Okay, thank you. Negative 19 over 6. Nice. A, A, A. Nice. You're, you're good here. All right. You do this guy. You do him. Ready, set, go. Pause the video. Okay, you're done? Let's go. Let's check it out. Line on the equal sign. Yep. Left. Right, no parentheses, uh, Y is on the left, kick him out, he belongs over there, 6Y comes down, symbols there, 19X minus 19, liking it so far, yuck, I got blurry, I'm sorry, yeah, I don't know why it does that, I wish I could fix it, if anyone knows how to fix it, let me know. 
All right, now we got to divide by 6. Everyone gets hit with that 6. Y, this symbol, 19 over 6. X minus 19 over 6. Cool. Cool. I like it. Is that, are you done here? Good. Who flipped the sign here? Who, who remembered to flip the sign here? If you flip that sign here, hey, I'm mad at you. You're not supposed to flip the sign here. You just said on the last problem you're supposed to flip it whenever you divide. That's a lie. I didn't say that. I said whenever you divide by a negative, you flip the sign. And I also said, look at the y value in the very beginning. If the y value is positive, you don't flip the sign. If he's negative, you're going to flip the sign. Don't believe me? Go back. Check out number 10. Y value there. Oh, yeah, you're right. He is negative. So we flipped it. Is he negative? No. We don't flip it. So you leave it the same. Don't go erasing it. Make a little line through it. Write a note to your future self. He'll thank you. That's what's up. All right. Last ones. We're just going to set these up. We will not solve these. Ready? Here we go. Here you go. Last little half problem. I promise you we're not going to go crazy with these. Here we go. 13 and 14. Number 13 says 19x equals 7y plus 19. 14 says 9x is greater than 7y plus 19. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Same thing. What do you see? X and Y on the same problem. What? What are we supposed to do? Yes, solve for Y. Let's go. First steps out. Hey, before I even solve this, I really don't even like this. Why don't I like it? I feel like this problem is backwards. Do you feel like it's backwards too? Me too. It's got the Y on the right-hand side. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. This is the stuff I don't like. So here's what we're going to do. Check this out. Watch this. Check this out. Watch this. I'm going to copy down this guy. I'm going to copy down this guy. Here's the cool part. Watch this. I'm going to bring this equal sign right here. Then I'm going to bring this 19x right here. And now I can work this problem right here. This looks like stuff we've already done. So if it ever looks backwards, just rewrite it the way you like it and then work it the way we work it. Number 14, same thing. I'll do this with you. I don't want you doing this by yourself. This is kind of scary. All right, check him out. Oh, uh, dang. Let's fix him. Here I go. I want this symbol on the other side. So I'm going to do this plus 19. Now, be very careful with these symbols, man. These symbols make things a little bit more challenging. You just got to think more. Which way is this guy eating? Which way are his teeth eating? Gong, 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 gong. He's eating the 19x. So I'm going to draw the 19x right here. But don't forget, he still has to be getting eaten by that little mouth. So if I draw it like this, uh, no, no, he's got to be eating the 19x. That's the wrong way. There we go, there we go. But I thought you said if it's not negative, then I know, I know, but this is totally different. We got to set this guy up correctly, all right? You can't be telling lies with these problems. The mouth is eating the 19x in the beginning, it's got to be eating the 19x at the end. Now you can work it, make it happen. A lot of work today, right? Long video. I'm so sorry, but I'm not so sorry because I covered every single thing that you're going to see. If there's something I missed, let me know in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Thank you so much. Make sure you're working hard. You're studying to show yourself approved. Help your teacher out. Help your neighbor out. Learn this stuff, not just for you, but for your neighbors, for your little brothers, your little cousins. That way you can be a symbol of hope when you walk into a room and you say, oh, yes, oh, my older sister's here, my older brother's here, my cousin's here. She knows how to do this. You do know how to do this. They can say, yes, I'm so thankful. Someone can help me. You are supposed to be a symbol of hope. And people see, they should say, oh, nice. Not, oh, dang, what are they going to need, all right? All right, we need more. We need more. Heroes, let's go. Tearing down the roof is my vocation. Anybody want the truth, drop your location. Yeah, we gon' wiggle out and pull up. Demons ain't safe when we glide. Yeah.